Another new variant, boosters and concerns about rising infections. It's nearly two years since COVID-19 became an international pandemic. When will the world decide it is over? There's no clear-cut definition for when a pandemic starts and ends, and how much of a threat a global outbreak is posing can vary by country. It's somewhat a subjective judgment because it's not just about the number of cases. It's about severity and it's about impact, says Dr. Michael Ryan, the World Health Organization's Emergencies Chief. In January 2020, WHO designated the virus a global health crisis of international concern. A couple of months later in March, the United Nations Health Agency described the outbreak as a pandemic, reflecting the fact that the virus had spread to nearly every continent. The pandemic may be widely considered over when WHO decides the virus is no longer an emergency of international concern, a designation its expert committee has been reassessing every three months. But when the most acute phases of the crises within countries could vary, there is not going to be one day when someone says, OK, the pandemic is over says Dr. Chris Woods, an infectious disease expert at Duke University. Although there are no universally agreed upon criteria, he said countries will likely look for sustained reduction in cases over time. Scientists expect COVID-19 will eventually settle into becoming a more predictable virus like the flu, meaning it will cause seasonal outbreaks but not the huge surges we're seeing right now. But even then, Woods says some habits, such as wearing masks in public places, might continue. Even after the pandemic ends, COVID will still be with us, he says. Wisconsin hospitals are facing staffing shortages and a severe lack of beds in intensive care units as COVID-19 infections rise. Less than 3% of ICU beds were available in the state as of Thursday. Finland Prime Minister Sanna Marin, one of the world's youngest elected leaders, apologized this week after facing backlash for spending a night out in Helsinki after she was exposed to COVID-19.